back to KMIR News this morning. You are looking live at the Capitol where lawmakers, well, they have a lot on their plates. The Congressional Budget Office expected to weigh in on what President Trump's health plan will look like and, of course, what will it cost? Big question there. Plus, lawmakers have asked the Justice Department to produce evidence that President Obama, in fact, tapped phones at Trump Tower during the election. Our Tracy Potts has more from D.C. Pressures coming from both sides for President Trump to prove that President Obama tapped phones at Trump Tower. The president has one of two choices, either retract or to provide the information that the American people deserve. The Justice Department and FBI are supposed to produce a paper trail by today, but lawmakers doubt they'll say anything. The president's advisor speculating, she says, in general about surveillance. You can surveil someone through their phones, through their... Uh, certainly through their television sets, uh, any number of different ways, and microwaves that turn into cameras. There was no such wiretap activity. And discounting no, denials from the former director of national president intelligence. Or... He can say those organizations under his purview did not do this, but that doesn't discount the rest of the Obama administration. Democrats insist it's important for the president to be credible if there's an international crisis. The question is, would people believe him? Would American people believe him? Would people around the world believe him? And that has real world consequences. Another deadline. As soon as today, the Congressional Budget Office is due to report what the Republicans' health plan will cost. I firmly believe that, that, that nobody will be worse off financially. Estimates suggest 15 million people could lose coverage. The Republicans cannot just force this down our throats. A repeal vote is scheduled for next week. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.